that we want to signal to our investor that that money is available us so if we keep on producing cash flows like we have over the last few years uh there is more potential absolutely there was a time when automobile experts were calling the ev surge a short-term phenomenon and turns out morally driven cars were just a trend in mercedes is so over it the luxury car maker has announced that it will continue to make combustion engines and in that realm they are ready to outdo their rivals as amg continues to perfect the m139 with its masterful fuel and thermal efficiency specs mercedes might as well just crush the ev market and as the m139 makes a stride in the automobile world it just did join us as we reveal everything you need to know about m139 the engine that will kill the ev industry mercedes makes a u-turn the world has taken the moral high ground for electric vehicles but mercedes has just made an aggressive u-turn previously the luxury car manufacturer had announced its electric first plan to pursue the consistent electrification of all model variants and vehicle types as a clear target it was on its way to achieving electric vehicle only sales by 2030 being consistent with the global benchmark of achieving carbon neutrality by the same year now now mercedes-benz has shelved its plans at the same time the company has already released a magnificent engine to stay on top of its game while the manufacturers have significantly delayed their ev timeline it promises efficiency and enhanced productivity in its ic engine lineup it seems like mercedes-benz wants to accomplish the biggest engine roar before many manufacturers go quiet with their electric vehicles to further appease the ICE engines enthusiasts Mercedes has recently announced a $15 billion investment in high-tech combustion engine technology that has sent ripples through the automotive industry Mercedes-Benz CEO Ola Kalinius underscored the critical need for these investments warning that without them the company's combustion engine division could encounter major challenges as early as 2027 or 2028 this potential setback is linked to the tightening Euro 7 and China 7 emissions regulations the Euro 7 standard set to take effect on July 1, 2025 will be the most stringent yet mandating that all new petrol and diesel vehicles adhere to the lowest emission limits previously outlined in Euro 6 specifically from 2025 onward all new cars must limit nitrogen oxide emissions to just 60 mg to remain compliant for climate change mitigation enthusiasts Euro 7 standards are a milestone victory however in general the global trend of driving EVS is also declining there are many reasons behind the decline from pricing to impractical of charging standards many drivers are hesitant to invest in available EV units Mercedes-Benz is the latest automobile company to realize that the EV demand is fluctuating severely in January 2024. Renault put its plans to list its EV units citing unfavorable stock market conditions similarly General Motors scaled back its EV production targets. In response to waning demand against this backdrop it's no surprise that Ola Kalinius emphasized the need for a flexible approach in navigating the ups and downs of the EV transition the automobile manufacturer manufacturing experts are calling this move a cautious outlook that will maintain Mercedes global marketing position they explain that EV consumerism is as intricately tied to the mindset and the narratives around the crux of the problem for someone to make a radical shift in their automobile preferences and to navigate the uncharted world of charging car batteries they really have to buy into the dangers of climate change plus the costs of buying an ev have to be justified too only then companies like mercedes-benz and renault can think about scrapping their ic engines it is not surprising that mercedes has revised its expectations now predicting that only 50 percent of its sales will be all electric a notable shift from the more optimistic projections shared in their fourth quarter financial report the company has made it clear that gasoline and hybrid vehicles will remain part of its lineup for the foreseeable future according to Mercedes market conditions and customers will set the pace of transformation the automaker plans to meet a broad range of consumer needs well into the 2030s whether through electrified combustion engines or fully electric drivetrains were far from seeing an all-electric Mercedes but the company is still producing the best IC engines experts worry that the continued production of such advanced engines coupled with the company's recent an announcement is a big blow to the EV surge you see EV manufacturers are pushing for the hefty transition by emphasizing the top-notch performance of their engines however as long as as automakers like Mercedes keep redefining what it means to be the best EV manufacturers have a problem on their hands the data so far shows the very same two Riven and Lucid 2 automakers that exclusively make electric vehicles have projected flat production levels for the year similarly Tesla's CEO Elon Musk has warned of significantly slower sales growth for the company in 2024 in response to this stunted trend companies like Ford and General Motors have either scrapped certain models or delayed plans for new factories last year. Electric vehicles made up around 8% of total car sales in the United States, while in Europe they accounted for 13% of the market. By the looks of it, EV markets remain stagnant. In light of these events, Mercedes-Benz has unveiled its remarkable engine, the M139, and with its $15 billion investment underway, it just keeps getting better and better.
the most powerful four-cylinder engine in the world. Any car enthusiast knows that four-cylinder engines have nothing on larger six- and eight-cylinder counterparts, but for some reason, the automobile industry can't have enough of them. Turbocharged four-cylinder engines offer a practical solution, delivering the power traditionally associated with larger engines while also cutting down on emissions, though they may never achieve the legendary status of the V8. There are some remarkable four-cylinder engines on the market today. However, if there's one industrial name that takes the podium every single time, it is Mercedes-Benz M139 engine. The powerful engine delivers up to 469 horsepower. This engine made its debut in the Mercedes AMG C63 AC performance, priced at $84,000, replacing the M133 engine, which was in production from 2013 to 2019. The M139 packs impressive power for its size, a turbocharged inline 4, used across several Mercedes-Benz and AMG models. It nearly matches the power of the Ford Mustang's Coyote V8 despite being much smaller, while Lotus uses a detuned version in the Amira. It is not quite the same. The engine's performance is impressive across different power levels, as it achieves 200 horsepower per liter. Its most powerful version, the M139i variant, powers the Mercedes AMG C63 SE performance, delivering 469 horsepower equivalent to 235 horsepower per liter. This output surpasses even the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, which produces 198 horsepower per liter. The M139 is so advanced that only three engines, all found in supercars, exceed its power density. The only vehicles that outperform it in this regard are the Koenigsegg Gemera, Jesco, and Chinger 21C. And, well, you don't need those engines in everyday cars when you have an M139 at your disposal. And it gets better, and you guessed it, better. The engine doesn't make peak torque until 5,000 RPM, and that peak only lasts for another 250 RPM. But AMG's engineers say this has resulted in an immediately responsive engine and that they've achieved a power delivery similar to that of a naturally aspirated engine. The former chair of AMG, Tobias Mowers, also raved about the company's creation. He shared, We already set the benchmark in the segment with the preceding engine, with the M139. We have once again impressively demonstrated the engine expertise of Mercedes AMG. Not only is the output per liter unrivaled for a turbocharged engine, the high level of efficiency also demonstrates that the internal combustion engine still has further potential. The powerful engine was produced at the company's Affalterback engine manufacturing facility, which Mowers believes has perfected AMG's one-man, one-engine manufacturing philosophy.